Well, all of my stories are when I was younger. Boy, a beautiful day in southeast Alaska, and I get paid to go flying. Today is Friday, April 23rd, about 11 a.m., and we're going to go do some herring surveying. I've done three flights so far this season down to Ernest Sound for herring surveying. We saw a fish the first day and then nothing much the next two days. I don't know whether we were early or late on that fishery, but budget doesn't allow any more surveying down there. However, it is time to start surveying in Hobart Bay and look for fish up there, the herring coming in up there. So I'm going to start this flight out the same way I do almost every flight and taxi out of the Petersburg Seaplane Base to the Wrangell Narrows, take a left on the Wrangell Narrows here, and taxi down to the ferry terminal to warm the engine up and give myself plenty of takeoff room, clear of any boat traffic, and then we'll turn back to the east and take off and climb out in front of the city of Petersburg out into Frederick Sound. Once I'm out in Frederick Sound, I'll take a left-hand turn to the north and head up to Farragut Bay and Hobart Bay. Here's a map of the Alexander Archipelago that is southeast Alaska. Ketchikan is pinned in the lower right. Sitka is just about dead center. Juneau is above that, and Skagway is center top. Petersburg is just about in the middle of that, close to the border between the U.S. and Canada. I've blown that map up a little bit, showing the area a little more closely. The red circle at the bottom right is Petersburg. The red line is a route of flight. The orange circles are where we looked for fish, the first ones in Farragut Bay, and then we flew up across the peninsula into Port Hooton and Ho Point Hobart, Hobart Bay, and that orange circle there is where we saw fish later. And then, like I said, the red line is our route of flight up and back. Round trip on this flight is right about an hour and a half. Oh, well, that doesn't fit very well onto a video like that, so I sped everything up to eight times Super Cub speed. If you want to watch it at normal speed, you'll have to slow it down on your player. Coming up on Cape Strait here, Frederick Sound kind of takes a bend to the west, to the left here, and goes on around out quite a ways. It's all Kupernoff Island here on the left. Uh, Cape Fanshawe is right over the nose. That's a low point you see over the nose. It's up there quite a ways. I'm headed to Bay Point, which is just outside of Farragut Bay. I hit Bay Point, and then I'll circle over that and come back into Farragut Bay, the north arm, they're looking for fish. That's where they generally spawn. Uh, far distance there, those snow-capped peaks there, is the lower end of Admiralty Island. And uh, Cake is off behind that mountain there on the far left, the little Indian village of Cake.
No, well, we did see a few sea lions there along that shoreline. There was really nothing to get us excited about any fish coming in. So I'm going to head through the north arm of Farragut Bay and through kind of a pass here over into Port Hooton. Coming into Port Hooton, the point there on the left is Point Hobart, and we'll fly along that shoreline looking for fish. This is where they kind of show up is along this shoreline and around Point Hobart into Hobart Bay and then up towards Wyndham Bay. The snow-capped peaks again in the distance are Admiralty Island. Yeah, it's in the area of Gambier Bay and Pibus Bay. As we come around Point Hobart here, we're looking right up Stevens Passage towards Juneau. Again, that's Admiralty Island on the left, and this is the Alaska mainland on the right. And we come around Point Hobart here into Hobart Bay, and we'll kind of swing around it. I generally try to keep the sun on the off side, so in this case, the sun is to our right. So I'm flying over the right shoreline here so we can look down in the water and have a better look and see if any fish are there. Oh, there was a big logging camp we were flying over now that uh, used to be about a 200-man camp there. Now there's just a caretaker. The island coming up there just to the left of the nose is Sunset Island. That's a big a sea lion rookery. You can go by there and there'll be thousands of sea lions hauled out on it on any given day. It's also officially the halfway point between Petersburg and Juneau. Now we're coming up into Wyndham Bay here now. This is generally the extent of the herring where they come in. So we'll come up to this little point in the entrance to Wyndham Bay and circle around here and then head back towards Petersburg. And of course we'll survey on the way back and see if we missed anything, but in this day we didn't. I saw like one whale and a few sea lions here and no sign of any fish. By Point Hobart and crossing over the mouth of Port Hooton, just ahead of us is Roberts Island and then Mount Fanshawe. I'm going to go ahead and just climb right over the top of Mount Fanshawe. Roberts Island here had quite a community on it at one time. I think there were a bunch of mink farms or fox farms here. And there were enough people living around this area that in Cape Fanshawe there was a post office. 
Now, these buildings were still occupied into the mid-60s, but there's almost no sign of them left anymore. You can still find the post office if you know where to look at it. It's a pretty dilapidated building covered in all kinds of vegetation. We cross these ridges at about 3,000 feet headed back to Petersburg. As we come over this last ridge, we're coming right back into Frederick Sound. That's Farragut Bay right on the left, and uh, Kupernoff Island there on the right side of the nose. It's uh, Cape Strait straight ahead of us, and a little spit sticking out there right underneath the prop where it's uh, the left-hand side of the prop. That's called Cape Vanderput, and that's the entrance into Thomas Bay. The bluffs just to the left of the nose are horned cliffs. There's actually mountain goats on those. And uh, Sockeye Island coming up here underneath the nose. That's the entrance right into Petersburg, which is just on the right, just around that little point there. The Frederick Sound goes on up in there into the Stikine Flats, and then it kind of ends in dry straits. You can get through there on a high tide into the Sumner Strait area, but most of the time it's uh, too shallow for a boat to go through. So I'm going to come into Petersburg here and make a left hand downwind for the harbor and come in and land. A couple days after I made this video I went ahead and made a video driving through downtown Petersburg and I'll go ahead and tack that on to the tail end of this video if anybody wants to watch it and see what it looks like in downtown Petersburg. We just got back from a herring survey trip up to Hobart Bay. It's April 28th. This is the fifth herring survey trip that we've made up to Hobart Bay this season so far. We made three down to Ernest Sound, so that's uh, eight trips total. Just noon, uh, the tide was low at nine o'clock this morning. It was a minus three foot tide. It's coming in now. It's about halfway in now, but still got quite a ways to go. I think it's a 20-foot tide today, 19-foot tide today. So you can see it's already higher than it was the last time I videoed up here. So anyway, I'm going to head home, and I thought I'd go ahead and just do a little trip around town here since I've done a video from coming from my place uh, into the seaplane harbor. Thought I'd go ahead and go on into town. Oh, 
first thing we got to do is go up the ramp and the ramp's not near as steep now as it was when I came in a while ago see so we took off at 10 o'clock this morning I came down here at 9 and uh, about three foot of water here under the dock then blue ramp over there is the ferry terminal. It's a ramp go down to ferry. Of course the Coast Guard station here. Now we're coming off of, uh, I think this is called Dock Street, I'm not sure. Yep, Dock Street, that's what the sign says. Anyway, on to uh, South Nordic Drive. This is kind of the main street, highway, Bitkoff Highway, the town portion of it. Dentist office there at a bed and breakfast. But uh, cold storage there, plant they built here a few years ago. Uh, fish processing companies and stuff can bring their fish in there, freeze them and store them. parking lot for the South Harbor, South parking lot for the South Harbor, yeah, South Harbor down there. Coming on a bridge here. This is Hammer Slough. That's the uh, Sons of Norway Hall there. And that's Birch Street going down there. It's all on pilings like a bridge going down Hammer Slough. Well, we got power plant here uh, and the P Petersburg Municipal Building over here. That's the police and offices. And this used to be the post office, now it's a forest service building here, the courthouse on the corner right there, Scandia House Hotel, First Bank, and then Wells Fargo Bank, this is downtown. Hammer and Week on Hardware Store on the corner there. They're celebrating their 100th anniversary. And uh, just as an aside, uh, Art Hammer is was the son of one of the founders, and he's celebrating his 100th birthday here too uh, in a month or so. At the IGA store, Trading Union IGA store there. They used to have a hardware store across the street there, but they closed it down. And then, uh, now they call it OBI Seafoods. It used to be Icicle Seafoods and Petersburg Fisheries. That's a big, big fish processing plant there. They've got offices here and uh, bunk houses up there on the hill. Well, that's town. The South Nordic Drive runs out here to the end of Wrangell Narrows, the north end of the Wrangell Narrows, and opens up into Frederick Sound.
Well, this is the north end of the Wrangell Narrows, the mouth of the Wrangell Narrows, and that opens into Frederick Sound. That's the Alaska mainland over there on the other side. Those mountains go up to about 9,000 feet, almost 10,000 feet, I think a couple of them, and the U.S.-Canadian borders just back there, just a few miles. Really beautiful this morning when I come to town. This opened up and the sun was actually brightening and lightening that up a little bit, but the weather's been pretty crummy yesterday. And it's forecast to be pretty crummy today. Heavy rain and wind, not near as bad as what the forecast was. Oh. Well, this is the end of Nordic Drive and it turns into Sandy Breach Road. And this is the high-priced houses down here. Well, I skipped through most of the high-rent district on Airport Perimeter Road or Airport Drive, whatever it's called here now, headed up by the airport. We'll go past the east end of the Petersburg Municipal Airport and then head on into town. There's a couple of private jets parked here and the Alaska Airlines plane. We get the Alaska Airlines flights twice a day here, once northbound and once southbound. One private hangar here on this end of the field, uh, this end of the hangar rows, and then there's an Alaska Airlines has a big hangar there, and then another private hangar, then Alaska Airlines, they've got their COVID tent up there, the city of Petersburg jumped both feet into the COVID panic, and they're still milking it for all it's worth. And we're coming on to Hagen Drive, or H Street right now, and that's the state of Alaska's highway department shop buildings right there. They spend most of their time on the airport, but they also maintain the highway. And we're headed uh, down Hagen Drive back towards town. The blue roof on the right side is the new post office. That's, I guess it's not new anymore. It's about 10 years old or maybe 15. It's hard to remember, but that's the post office. And then the red roof building there, that's the Hammer and Wecon grocery store complex. They built that up here a few years ago and uh, kind of got a little mini mall there. But they got a nice big grocery store, it really improved things. That's our new multi-million dollar volunteer fire department building there. They're not afraid to spend money on stuff here. This is coming down into the residential area, the town proper now. We've got houses. We just went by 8th Street and uh, headed on down into town. Coming up on the right will be our second gas station, Petersburg Motors. They also do automobile maintenance and stuff there. They get their fuel from the same place the other gas station does. That's our new multi-million dollar library. A big fancy building. It's got less books in it than the old library, but at least it's got a sitting area with a fireplace. This is the back side of the Forest Service building. And then the municipal power and light here is on the left. They've got uh, generators in there. We get most of our power from electrical uh, hydro plants. 
And then, of course, that's the municipal building there with the city offices in it, and then the police department on the far end. Boy, and that's, that's about the size of Petersburg. Petersburg. Yeah, we're headed back out Midkoff Highway now, uh, headed home.